My precious child, listen to my words, for they are meant to lift you up in this moment of your life. I know the weight of the world has been heavy on your shoulders, but do not despair, for I am with you always. I am calling out to you today, not in anger or disappointment, but in love, in a desire to see you live the life I have designed for you, a life filled with hope, peace, and purpose. You can also donate us super thanks to support our channel. You may feel like you are at the end of your strength, but remember, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you are weak, I am strong. When you are lost, I am your way. When you are in despair, I am your comfort. Do not be afraid to reach out to me, for my arms are open wide, ready to embrace you, to heal you, and to renew your spirit. There is a purpose to your pain, a reason for your trials, and a light at the end of your darkness. Trust in me, for I am working all things together for your good. Even when you cannot see it, the storms in your life are not here to break you, but to make you stronger, to refine you, and to draw you closer to me. Hold on, for I have not forgotten you. I have not abandoned you. I am right here, guiding your steps, even through the valley of the shadow of death. I am the God who sees you, who knows you by name who knows every hair on your head and every tear you've shed. Nothing in your life has escaped my notice. Every prayer you have whispered in the quiet of the night, I have heard. Every cry for help, I have felt. And every time you've thought you were alone, I was right there beside you, holding you in my hands. Today, I am asking you to surrender your burdens to me. Lay them down at my feet and trust that I will take care of them. I am the God of miracles, and I can do more than you can ask or imagine. Believe in my power, not just in your mind, but in your heart. Let go of the doubts, the fears, and the worries that have plagued you. Let go of the need to control everything, and let me be the God in your life that I have always wanted to be. Amen. You were created for more than just survival. You were created to thrive, to live in abundance, to walk in victory. I have placed dreams within you that are bigger than you can accomplish on your own. But with me, all things are possible. Do not let the enemy steal your joy, your peace, or your hope. Stand firm in the truth of who you are a child of the Most High God, beloved, chosen, and destined for greatness. This is your moment to rise, to step into the life I have prepared for you. Do not look back in regret or fear, but look forward with faith. I am opening new doors for you, creating new opportunities, and making a way where there seems to be no way. Trust in my timing, for it is perfect. Trust in my plan, for it is good. And trust in my love, for it is everlasting. Remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You are never alone, and you are never without hope. I am your God, and you are my child. Walk in that truth today, and watch as I work miracles in your life. The best is yet to come. Believe it, receive it, and live in the fullness of all that I have for you. I love you with an everlasting love, and nothing can separate you from my love. Keep your eyes on me, and I will lead you into the abundant life I have promised. In my presence, there is fullness of joy, and at my right hand, pleasures forevermore. Trust in me, for I am your refuge your strength, and your ever-present help in times of trouble. Be still and know that I am God. I will fight for you, protect you, and provide for you. Rest in my peace and let my love guide you today and always. 
My beloved child, hear these words as if they come directly from my heart to yours. You are not here by chance, and your life is not without purpose. Every breath you take, every step you make, has been watched over by me, your Heavenly Father. I know the struggles you face, the doubts that cloud your mind, and the burdens that weigh heavy on your soul. But I am telling you today, you are not alone. I have set before you a path, a path that leads to life, to hope, and to a future filled with blessings beyond your imagination. But to walk this path, you must trust in me. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me, and I will direct your steps. I am the lamp to your feet and the light to your path. When the road ahead seems dark and uncertain, know that I am walking beside you, guiding you, and protecting you from the unseen dangers. This is a time of decision. You stand at a crossroads, and the choices you make now will shape the rest of your journey. I am calling you to rise up, to step out in faith, and to trust that I will be with you every step of the way. Do not be afraid of the challenges ahead, for I have overcome the world. In me, you have the victory. My child, I have sent my angels to watch over you, to minister to you, and to deliver my messages to you. Do not ignore the signs I place before you. They are there for your protection and guidance. The warnings may seem intense, the calls urgent, but that is because the stakes are high. Your soul, your purpose, your destiny are at play. Listen to the still, small voice within you, the voice that nudges you toward righteousness, toward peace, and toward the life I have planned for you. You are precious to me, more valuable than the sparrows, and yet I care for them too. How much more will I care for you, my child? You are the apple of my eye, and I have engraved your name on the palms of my hands. You are never out of my sight, never far from my thoughts. I know every tear you cry and every prayer you whisper in the silence of the night. I see your potential even when you cannot. I see the greatness I have placed within you, the gifts, the talents, the dreams. Do not let fear or doubt rob you of the future I have for you. I am a God of miracles, and I delight in doing the impossible. What seems like a mountain before you, I can move with just a word. What seems like a storm in your life, I can calm with just a command. But you must believe. You must have faith, even as small as a mustard seed. For with that faith, you can say to this mountain, move, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you when you place your trust in me. Remember, I am the God who makes all things new. I can restore what has been lost, heal what has been broken, and redeem what has been stolen. Your past does not define you. Your mistakes do not disqualify you. I am the God of second chances, and my mercy is new every morning. Today is a new day, a new opportunity to walk in the fullness of my love and grace. So my child, take my hand and let me lead you. Walk with me, talk with me, and let me be the shepherd of your soul. When you are weary, I will give you rest. When you are anxious, I will give you peace. When you are weak, I will be your strength. All I ask is that you trust me, that you seek me with all your heart, and that you listen to my voice. Do not delay, for the time is short. The world is passing away, but my word will never pass away. Stand firm in your faith. Hold fast to the hope you profess for I am faithful. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Come to me, my beloved, and let me fill you with my love. 
my peace and my joy. Let me show you the wonders of my grace and the depths of my compassion. You are my child and I am your father. Together we will walk this journey and you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Believe in me, trust in me, and know that I am with you now and forevermore. My dear child, the path ahead is not always easy, but remember this, every trial you face is an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to draw closer to me. The fire you walk through will refine you, not destroy you. The pressures you feel will shape you, not break you. I am the potter, and you are the clay. Allow me to mold you, to form you into a vessel of honor, fit for my purposes. In the midst of your trials, do not lose heart. I am doing a work in you that is far greater than you can see right now. What you perceive as setbacks are often my setups for something greater. Trust in my timing, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When the answers don't come as quickly as you'd like, remember that my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. I see the whole picture, the end from the beginning. You see only a part, but I see it all. Trust that I am working all things together for your good, even when you don't understand. Your faith in these moments will be a testimony to others of my goodness and faithfulness. Let me remind you that the battles you face are not just physical or emotional, they are spiritual. The enemy of your soul seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the schemes of the enemy. Stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Put on the helmet of salvation and take up the sword of the Spirit, which is my word. Remember, my word is alive and active sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Meditate on my word day and night and let it be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Speak my word in faith and watch as it brings life, healing and deliverance to every area of your life. In times of doubt, look to my promises. They are yes and amen in Christ. I am not a man that I should lie, nor a son of man that I should change my mind. What I have promised, I will fulfill. Hold on to my promises, for they are your anchor in the storm, your foundation in the shaking, and your light in the darkness. My child, do not grow weary in doing good. For at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Keep sowing seeds of faith, love, and obedience, even when it seems like nothing is happening. The harvest is coming, and it will be abundant. I have seen every act of kindness, every prayer whispered, every sacrifice made in my name. None of it has gone unnoticed. Your labor in the Lord is not in vain. As you continue on this journey, surround yourself with others who share your faith. Encourage one another, build each other up, and bear each other's burdens. The journey is not meant to be walked alone. I have placed people in your life to support you, to pray for you, and to walk alongside you. Cherish these relationships for they are a gift from me. Finally, my child, 
Never forget that I love you with an everlasting love. This love is not based on your performance, your achievements, or your failures. It is a love that is unconditional, unchanging, and unfathomable. Rest in my love. Let it be your source of strength, your comfort in times of sorrow, and your joy in times of celebration. I am with you always, guiding you, protecting you, and leading you into the fullness of the life I have prepared for you. Keep your eyes on me, and you will walk in peace, joy, and victory. You are my beloved, and I am yours. Nothing can separate you from my love. Not now, not ever. Walk with me, trust in me, and know that the best is yet to come. Amen. As you move forward, remember that every day is a new opportunity to experience my grace and mercy. Each morning, my mercies are new, and my faithfulness is great. Do not dwell on the past, neither your mistakes nor your victories. Yesterday is gone, and today is a gift. Embrace it with a heart full of gratitude and expectation for what I will do in 